For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And no creature is hidden from his sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Wait a minute. I know that verse. Did you feel that? How often do we hear that verse 12 taught to us independent of the context in which it lives? Did you have any idea that it was actually not just an encouraging coffee cup verse about having your quiet time? That it is in fact at the high point of a rant about holiness. Let us therefore strive to enter that rest. Do you know why? Because the word of God will cut you. It will divide you all the way down to your motives. You know what it will do? It will leave you naked and exposed because we will give an account. Do you, do you believe that? Do you believe that you will give an account? I know there are some Christians who think, well, we won't have to do that because, you know, we have, or we, like, we'll stand before the Lord, but then when, when, when it's time to give the account, he's just going to go, oh, grace all over you, girl, just go sit down. But it, it doesn't sound like that here, does it? It sounds like we will give an account, and the account will be based on, I don't know, what this says. And that this will divide, and it will show this is righteous and this is unrighteous. But don't forget that we do have rest in the finished work of Christ. So that if this accounting happens, and let's just say that you see every sin that you've ever committed scrolling behind you on a screen... Do you know what your sensation will be? It will be, and there was grace for that. Oh, and there was grace for that too. And there was grace for that. And there was grace for that. And there was grace for that. How great is the rest into which we enter through Christ. Mm -hmm. 